Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression if we have 64 divided by 8 plus square root of 63 and its whole square root. So we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. This means that we need to show all of the working on this paper. So here we solve this problem step by step. I hope so you like this method. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. So here, first we need to, uh, to rationalize the denominator. So our denominator is 8 plus square root of 63. And uh, we just change the sign of denominator and it is multiplied and divided inside the square root sign. So this is called the rationalize of denominator. So this is 8 minus square root of 63 is divided by 8 minus square root of 63. And here we need to multiply uh, the corresponding terms. So we have this is 64 is multiplied by 8 minus square root of 63. And here in the denominator side we have these are the two same terms. So here we use the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need to apply this nice formula you see here this is our a term this is our b this is also our a and this is also our b so it will be written as a plus b times of a minus b so when we combine the square of these terms it will be written as 8 square minus this is square root of 63 and its whole square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is square root of 63 into 8 minus square root of 63 divided by here we know that uh, 8 square becomes 64 minus this 2 and square root are gone and we get here 63 only and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as square root of this is uh, 64 minus 63 becomes 1 only and we obtain this is 63 times of uh, 8 minus square root sorry this is 64 okay 64 times of 8 minus square root of 63 so here we need to apply uh, this square root sign separately on both of these two values and it will be written as square root of 64 into square root of 8 minus square root of 63 and we know about that square root of 64 becomes 8 into this is square root of this value and here inside the inside of this square root sign we multiply and divide by 2 so when we multiply it by 2 it will be written as 2 times of 8 minus square root of 63 and it is divided by 2 here we multiply and divide this term by 2 and here further in the next step we need more simplifications and we get 8 times of square root of we multiply 2 on both of these values and it will becomes 2 times 8 becomes 16 minus this is 2 times of square root of 63 and we write this 63 as 9 times 7 we know that 9 times 7 becomes 63 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we have 8 times of square root of this is 16 and we write this 16 as 9 plus 7 minus here we need to apply square root separately on both of these two values and it will becomes 2 times of we know that a square root of 9 becomes 3 into square root of 7 becomes square root of 7 and it is divided by 2. So here we need to rewrite this equation as this is 8 multiplied by uh, we have this is 9 we write 9 as 3 square plus this is 7 we write it as square root of 7 and its whole square minus this is 2 times 
of three times of square root of seven and inside the square root we divide by two and now here we need to focus uh, inside the square root sign and here we uh, get the term like this if we have a square plus b square minus 2 times of a b so inside the square root we get this type of term and you know about that this thus these all when you combine the square of all these terms it will be equals to a minus b whole square so this is a square plus b square minus 2 times of a and b so when you combine all of these terms uh, we get uh, the complete square of this term is this is 8 times of inside the square root we get 3 minus square root of 7 and its whole square and it is divided by 2 and further in the next step we need more simplification we apply square root separately on both of these two values and it will becomes 8 times of square root of 3 minus square root of 7 whole square divided by square root of 2 and now here these two and this square root are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 8 times of 3 minus square root of 7 divided by square root of 2. So here in order to write our answer into the simplified form we multiply and divide this term by square root of 2 and here we multiply this square root of 2 inside the terms and it will be written as 8 times of uh, so we have 8 times of we multiply square root of 2 on both of these two values it will become 3 times of square root of 2 minus when we multiply this one here it will become square root of 7 into square root of 2 divided by this is square root of 2 into square root of 2 becomes here 2 only so these are cancelled out by each other 2 4 are 8 and uh, finally we will get here this is 4 times of 3 into square root of 2 minus this is square root of 7 and square root of 2 when we combine the square root it will becomes square root of 14 so here finally we have this is the our final simplified form of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos